It may be dead in the water, but it's not dead on arrival. Hey guys, this is my review for the third episode ever of Supernatural, continuing on with my reviews of the original episodes, leading all the way up until the previous ones. Dead in the Water is one of the more emotional episodes in terms of character relation. We haven't seen anything like this in a long time from Supernatural. The closest I would say was, in most recent times, was the fourth episode of the recent season in terms of going back to their past, technically going back to what actually creates the boys. Their trauma with the loss of their mother, how they were raised by their father, all that aspects of their original, their, their deficiencies, their lacks of childhood. They haven't talked about that in a long time. This was one of the most interesting elements of the brothers because this was able to get us to connect with them, to see their loss and to perceive their events and their adventures through that. As we see in this episode, this is the episode where they go to a lake where people are mysteriously drowning. It starts with a girl who's a varsity swimmer, then it starts with her brother uh, drowning in the sink, and then the father goes out and gets exploded on a boat, which actually led to one of the funniest bloopers of Supernatural. The episode also focuses on the emotional side that Dean can admit, because it starts with him trying to get this girl by going through her son. But in the end, he actually comes to understand and care for the boy, and in the end saves his life. Again, this is one of the more interesting episodes on an emotional level. We also see a lot of that dark shadowing, which I actually figured out later on was purposely added onto the film in terms of post-production. They added this darker layer to make everything look darker, more shadows and whatnot. And again, I liked it. It may not be natural, but I thought it was cool. The show is called Supernatural, so it helps with the idea of the theme. This episode is not as more interesting in terms of scares. There are a few scary moments, like when the guy drowns in his sink. That's a pretty scary idea. However, it's kind of silly when they switch to the glass and you can see his arm against the glass clearly. So, obviously they're trying to emulate that that's the bottom of the sink, but again, it just didn't look that great. This episode did, however, go more into the lore of ghosts and how their connections with violent past or violence events are what connect them and in the end is what connect them to people they have we see that they're not just connected to a place we see they're connected to a person or an event and again this first whole season was literally just lore building and every episode was cool this episode is not one of the standout ones it's one of the more meh ones the best part was the emotional side it had a few kind of elements from different children's movies it was interesting but I don't like Dead in the Water too much. I admit it's a decent episode. It's got a cool idea to it. But it really, it wasn't the more memorable episodes, even though it's the third one on the disc. And there's going to be a lot of moments when I'm watching these episodes, I'm going to be wow, she looks familiar. And then I'm going to have to remind myself, well, it's because you've seen the first season a hundred million times. So in the end, I'm going to give Dead in the Water a four out of seven. It's an enjoyable episode. It's not one of the best ones by far, it's probably one of the least memorable ones. The only reason why you will remember it is because it's the third ever episode of this season. Anyway guys, that's all for me. I should have done this with the last two reviews. Please give me your comments, comment below about what your favorite elements are of this episode, and for all the next reviews that I'm going to do. I like to see what people remember about it, their memories, it's all so interesting to see how people connect on the show. And give me suggestions of what you want me to talk about for the next episode review, because the next one's Phantom Traveler, and this one was cool. I liked this one. Anyway guys, that's all for me. See you guys later.